A crossflow heat exchanger needs a forced air flow to work. In OS we use axial fans. The fluid to be cooled flows through the internal channels of the core and the fan moves the air through the cooler. It is better to size the cooling core with a square surface in order to optimize the flow of the fan. We can have a sucking or blowing flow. The sucking one requires a smaller distance between the actual fan and the core surface. On the other hand, the blowing one needs more space because of the bigger shadow cone caused by the fan hub. The operating point of the cooling system is obtained by matching the cooling performance curve with the characteristic fan curve. We get the ideal working point of the fan when there are higher airflow, higher pressure head, lower noise, lower consumption. How do we identify the working point? We select the curve that provides the required cooling flow with enough pressure head to pass through the core. Several fans can meet these requirements, but not all of them are the right solution. We exclude number 2 and 4 because the working point is placed at their inflection point. 1 and 3 are both fine. If we want low power consumption and low noise level, we choose number 3. If we want to improve the performance, number 1 is the right option. But how can we combine the fan with the core? Between them, there is a plenum to convey the cooling air. In the sucking configuration, we have to place two-thirds of the fan inside the bell mount of the housing. In the blowing one, just one-third. If the flow is sucking, the fan flexes inwards. So, we need to have enough space between the core and the fan blade, avoiding collision with the cooler. If the flow is blowing, the fan flexes outwards. So, we need enough space between the fan blade and the protection grill. In any case, and according to the application, we have to maintain a tip clearance between the collar and the tip of the blade, between 0.5 and 1% of the fan diameter, to avoid collision due to different vibration. The fan blades generally require a protection grid to ensure the operator's safety. The grid can be square or round. For large diameters, it is recommended to divide it into two parts to facilitate assembly and maintenance operations.